Commander 16 fans. Deep in the depths of the global pandemic, there's not much to do around the houses, so we keep programming on the X16. This is a quick video just to show you some of the progress that's happened with the version 0.72 of the assembly environment and to give you some pointers so that you can go ahead, download it, and play with it if you wish. Here's where we are in the roadmap. Version 7, uh, 0.7 was really designed to fix the uh, code relocation problem and that was a couple releases ago. This is an update with the ability to actually save your program to disk and reload it so that you will be able to do some example programs. I'd like to introduce the concept of the X16 skeleton program right now. One of the changes from the 07 release is I removed the old Crucky example program and replaced it with a new program, x16scale.prg. This serves as a base for starting a new program. It defines a few handy dandy symbols like clearing the screen, that's a magic character that will print, and definitions for the locations of the registers defined by the kernel. So your program, or any program starting with this, can be consistent with the kernel. We've also got the vectors for screen mode and printing out a character. The main program is nothing more than a return from subroutine and I've included a routine here just to print a string pointed to by R0. Okay, now let's start. Let's actually do the Hello World program. I had done that on a couple releases ago on a previous video and it took a fair amount of fooling around and was kind of clunky and wasn't very quick. So I'll show you how fast it is to write Hello World now. Okay, let's write this Hello World program and see if we can do it quicker than the previous video. We'll load the assembly environment and give it a run. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load a skeleton program that I wrote. And it starts out for us. It's already got a handy uh, print routine in it. And the first thing I need to do is go down and I need to add my string, which will make, say, hello x16. need to be able to reference it, so I'll put a label on it. That's all set. And I need to perform the actual print functions. As before, that's not my main. That's really where I'm going to leave the program. So I like to put a label on that. And the first thing is I've got to load up a register with the address of str. So let's put that in. And I'm going to use register 0 because that's what the print routine is looking for. that byte into the high portion of the register. Great, the only thing remaining to do is to print it out. Let's put that routine in there. Hmm, looks good. I think we should try and run it, but before we do that, I'm going to save it just in case something goes wrong. So I'll save this. I'm going to call this hw.prg, hello world. And now that the, everything is safe, just in case I have to reboot the machine, I'll go ahead and give it a run. And you can see it printed hello x16. Fantastic! Except the screen had all of the assembly environment information on it. Not good, I think. I would like to clear the screen. Let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going
going to load the clear screen character, which was predefined for me, and then just call the basic print. Because I like to label things, I'm going to put that in there. That looks good. And I'm going to go ahead and save it because I am an experienced programmer, which means I'm paranoid. Good, let's give it a run. Wow, look at that. Hello, X16. Fantastic. That was pretty fast. That was a lot faster than before. And where does that leave us? The next major release is going to be 0 0.8. My goals for that release are to port it over to the CC65 tool chain, which will make it compatible with the ROM builds, build it in such a way that it's capable of being slotted into the ROM. And while I'm doing that, there's a bunch of usability features that need to be added, such as editing and instruction in place, editing of breakpoints, there's some extensions to the debugger that needed to be added, and we need better error messages. Finally, as a stretch goal, I'd like to have the ability to save the program to a text file so that you can export it and bring it back outside to work on a, uh, a cross-assembler or something like that. In the meantime, you can download this version from this Google site. Go ahead, play with it, try it out. There's instructions there, and if you find any issues or have suggestions, I'd be more than welcome to, uh, to see them. Go ahead and send them to me. Have fun.